back with another video and after a long time i'm back with another update and that's back to back update for exodus os which is powered by lineage os actually based on lineage os exodus os really a perfect custom rom in some cases it has problem which is safety net lineage os never comes with safety net pass by default so that's a problem only that's the problem uh, other things are perfect that means except safety net everything is perfect so in previous one i already did a pin comment there there is an issue with charging but in that new update everything fixed so let's get started with the full review and the smoothness just awesome and mind-blowing due to lineage os kernel and other things let me show you from the about section and android version of course android 12.1 but here doesn't mention 12.1 here is still 12 but don't worry about that here we have the kernel version which is the latest one and december security update very latest then here we have some sql version exodus os powered by lineage os which is the code name and exodus os version 12.1 on life and other things are here if you want to update from here here we have the updater if you want to update uh, download the update you guys can download from that updater and get back and we have the system languages and input and buttons system profiles just like lineage os then we have the customization which makes different from lineage os the extra things actually added here we have the ampm and auto height and clock position and battery percentage brightness slider auto brightness and brightness control so that's thing then we have the gestures you guys can customize the gesture where we have that customization just like as before just like the lineage os and gesture animation is shown here which is cool and one-handed mode and prevent ring ringing and then press and hold power button these are regular things then we have the customization in device settings which is ma sound enhancer if you really want to enhance your sound quality then of course you can enable that ma sound enhancer then we have the fps and display color calibration if you want to boost your colors you can do that also we have the thermal profiles and also we have by default the motor dolby let me show you here is the motor dolby and which is perfectly working without any issue and by default you guys will get that so if you want to enable mi sound enhancer then you guys can do that or just turn off the mi sound enhancer and then use motor dolby audio so choice is yours and then we have the regular customization let me show you from security option what we have we only have the fingerprint no face unlock or anything Then we have the wallpaper and style, just like previous one. Everything is just like uh, the previous one, uh, nothing, no changes. So just fixed is here. And if you missed the previous one review, just watch that one. And I will show you right now the uh, Exodus OS settings, and then I will show you some gameplay in that one. Because in previous uh, review, I already showed the Geekbench score and no CPU throttling, which was really really awesome. And first time I found that on any custom room, I found it on MIUI but not on AOSP but got it for the first time on Exodus OS which was really awesome now let me show you from the status bar and which was a traffic indicator after enabling this one if you uh, don't see any upgradation there then just hide network traffic is inactive just turn that off and it will be shown here and then do a reboot everything will be fixed and 4G and then we have that uh, normal customizations then of course we have the quick settings as usual background transparency can be changed and data users let me show you and here is the data users you guys can check and all possible toggles are included in the control center so that easily you guys can use extra dim dark night reading mode everything is working no issues and lock screen as usual the ripple effect when you just unlock using fingerprint you guys will get a ripple effect and quick unlock just quick unlock which is really really important thing just like MIUI you will just enter your pin code and device will automatically unlock you don't need to click on arrow so that's really cool then we have the clock 
a background chip if you can see here the background chip on clock if you don't need that on just turn that off and if you want to enable it's your choice then we have the themed font style some fonts actually available here then we have the icon packs icon shapes and other things like signal icons and wi-fi style as usual then we have the other customization which is ignore window secure flags and that means this removes the screenshot and screen records limits for all applications so this is uh, a really one kind of illegal activities kind of but i don't recommend you to use if you want to use no problem and we have the unlimited google photo storage and unlock higher fps in games and which is working perfectly and another important thing which is netflix is proof you guys can easily stream hd quality videos on netflix using that device and three finger gesture is working volume steps can be customizable just like this and flashlight smart charging and which is cool thing if you have any issues with coil charging uh, and charging speed is really really faster really really faster i i already did it i already charged my device and found it's really awesome fast charging so here we have the jitter and which is also good so these are the things for review purpose uh, let me show you which is included as a launcher by default you guys will get that launcher and show grid app icons and memory info if you enable to that things and we have that hidden application feature if you want to hide any application also you guys can do that as well no issues so these are the things and if you want to use uh, you split screen of course click here and you can go to um, app info and of course and split top you guys can use that split screen feature now i will show you the gameplay so you guys can see i am on pubg mobile here i am on pubg mobile and let me show you the graphic settings in front of you guys so we have the smooth and 90 fps so which actually unlocked by default you guys can uh, play games like this so let's play one match and let's see we are going on a match so i am getting down I just wanted to land on Rajak but I had to land here. I'm not a good player but I'll try my best to play this one.